Prince Harry and Meghan Markle almost named baby Archie something different. The royals consider a different possibility for all of one second. Little Archie almost had a different name. According to Finding Freedom, a new biography of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle written by royal reporters uh, Ms. Gobi and Carolyn Duran. Archie wasn't the only moniker they considered for the first child. Harry and Meghan already had a name ready to go when Archie was born because the couple had known all along that they were having a boy, the authors report. According to a source, they'd settled on their son's name sometime during the final week of her pregnancy. The couple wanted something traditional, a name that was powerful even without a title in front of it. Archie, meaning strength and bravery, fit the bill. They also thought about calling him Archibald, but not for long. They thought about Archibald for all of one second. A friend of the couple say, per the book, he was always going to be Little Archie. In addition to news about Little Archie's name, Fighting Freedom also reveals that Meghan never considered giving birth into Linda Wing of St. Mary's Hospital, where Prince Harry was born, and where the Duchess of Cambridge has given birth to each of her three children. Megan wanted somewhere more discreet than St. Mary's Hospital, write Duran and Scopey. Instead, Archie was born at the Parkland Hospital in London, a fact that was only confirmed once the Little Royal's birth certificate was made public. Fighting Freedom is out now and available wherever the books are sold.